What's up guys, Yuna here, welcome back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You need to raise that ladder somehow. Okay, I wanted to do the tomb. <coughs> what do I start? You need to though? raise that ladder somehow. Okay, let's go here. You need to raise that ladder somehow. Can I mute her? It's annoying after some time. Might be the way out. Yeah. You need to okay. raise that ladder somehow. I guess I can do it from here. to lift the ladder. Mm. There are so many things. How can I know where to start? Mm. Must be a way to lift this ladder. I guess I grab that and I'm confused. Okay. Now I want to go. How do I go up? Okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired, so forgive me. And the game is lagging like hell. I need to find a way to raise the ladder to get the cart under it. Am I the only one having issues with the game? <laughs> There's something gonna... wrong with the carts. <laughs> Something's wrong. How can I lock the other counterweight? Something wrong with the carts. Can I raise that? <laughs> There's something wrong with the carts. Thank God I saw that. There's something wrong with the carts. 23rd of May. Over a month has passed since our expedition departed from Quiada. We have consumed our provisions methodically thus far, and continue to be in high spirits. Father's age shows when we're on foot. A few times now I have caught Rally looking over his shoulder and back at us to make sure we're still keeping up. Father always returns a look with a smile and saying he'll soon be the one in the lead. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. <sighs> Why isn't she jumping? I'm sorry. What's wrong with the carts? Okay, if I move that, will that do anything different? No, I will have to raise that first. But how do I do that? There's something wrong with the carts. Stop talking!
I'm so confused right now. Is it blood on me or mud? It's black. If I do that. wrong with the carts. I don't understand. Oh god. to deal with the carts now. Okay, then I guess I have to push that uh, to the other side. <laughs> to take that here. Okay guys, don't judge. I'm trying. Because I'm not sure. talking about oh about that okay oh my god if that was it that was so easy but I was so confused This ladder isn't as rotten as it looks. That was easy. <laughs> it's ready to break. Come on, I'm expecting something to break. Come on. Nothing. I'm sorry. Come on. I need to change my controller. I jumped. Oh. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Impossible. <laughs> Regenerates more quickly. Yay! Yay! Where do I tie that? Okay, that took me ten minutes. I thought it was more. And in the moment the gods were satisfied Metnal did not kill his wife, a pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnal, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnal's feet. 
This was understood by all as a sign of Metnal's guilt, and he was quickly executed. Interesting. Okay, I have gold, right? Do I use it somewhere? Since uh, it's full and she cannot carry anymore? There must be uh, usage of the gold. I need to find a camp. Where was that? Oh my god, it's so dark. It's so dark. Okay. What are you doing? It always seems to me that she's going to fall, but she never falls. And when I think I'm doing everything correctly, she falls. There must be the entrance. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to fast travel and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, Poor Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the board of executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action. From the office of Roberto Lavia, Chief Executive Officer, Poor Veneer. Sex review any past skills earned from downloaded challenge tubes. Yeah, I, I haven't played any uh, DLC tomb, so. Okay. And I have one. I think I did the blue. Maybe so I'm gonna go with the red if I can. I can only have this one. To reduce damage when falling from heights. Oh, that's why I got hurt. I thought I had that. Okay. okay. I'm not gonna change her clothes yet. <laughs> Obsessed. Back at the house. Oh. That's so cool. I didn't know I can do that. Oh my god. Okay. This is awesome. So 
interesting. This cast iron conical mold was mainly used throughout the 60s and 70s to shape small gold ingots. Its unique shape causes the gold to settle at the bottom, separating it from impurities. No mistaking that bright golden disc. Inti, the most important god of the Inca. He was the god of the sun, protector of the people, and the provider of warmth and light. Some legends also credit him with teaching humans the ways of civilization, and the Incan emperors were either considered his lineal descendants or physical incarnations of Inti on Earth, depending on which emperor you asked. Why is everything underwater, though? will be looking at me and be like, what is she doing? Yeah, just taking a swim. Okay, I think I'm done. from Trinity. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz, Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. What are they trying to do? Pink. I'm like entering the houses without permission. <laughs> There are definitely more things here. Oh, I didn't go here. No. Okay, I was going the right way. To be honest. Are you interested in trading? Let's see what you have. Hello. Let me guess. Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I? I I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured 
Yeah, never mind. Are you looking for anything in particular, or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. Well, that's where you use the gold. Or not. It's not the same. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> oh my god, I love uh, everything that has to do with uh, clothing. What is that? But there are guns. Okay. So press this piece of fire noise for stealth. Applies to AB45 and C and T as 55. I like that. Excellent choice. Thank you. <laughs> and I cannot buy that anymore. Okay, what is that? Silent arrows, standard arrows used to silently kill enemies. I can craft that. Why would I buy it? Increases carrying capacity of rifle ammunition. No. Increases zoom factor applies to. Is this, can I buy that? Okay, I want that. A good deal for both of us. Come back soon. Thank you. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. <laughs> oh, the ship. Kony Rea, the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit, which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. His pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kavirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. So dramatic. Let's go inside. Hey, Where did you come from? It's a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Try to look. Eshel and Shack Shell. The twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> The twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. Oh 
that's convenient. The twins. Life and death. Jonah, I found the temple. Great. Damn. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. Those drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. I'm glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on it. Want us to search underwater? He wants us to search everywhere. Obviously, we've been missing something this whole time. Okay. Bunch of underwater drones. That was brutal, I'm sorry. That was fast. Man, this is Dock Station. Operation Lone Wolf underway. Drones have been launched. <laughs> Cannot hear me, are you kidding me? There's someone here. I don't see anyone. When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that 
He has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. We are responsible for every living soul, and they are now tarnished and besot. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven for all. We will usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I... What happened here? I said don't break anything. Hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Lara. Don't do anything crazy. Not on Trinity my is really list. on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right, and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does. Okay. Everything needs uh, two skill points, three skill points. Gain the ability to harvest dark poison and venom from spiders and bells. I want that. Okay. South Fox Spell. Well, doesn't have anything in particular, but I like it. I'm not even using my guns. <laughs> not yet. Okay. It's that time. I think I've won that. What the hell is going on with her expression? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Ooh, that's interesting. Interesting. Well made. Beautiful. It says, Reptile hide plates offer resistance against projectiles while memory fabrics increase experience gained from assault kills. Benefits full body bonus XP. Assault kills gain bonus XP from non stealth kills. Projectile resistance take less damage from bullets and arrows. I like it. Didn't see that. Are we done? Yeah. That's all the time I have for today. I'm looking forward to progressing the story. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.